I'm hungover and look like shit. But I'm addicted to YouTube. And I guess I have to shoot a review on the substance. People are gonna love that. In case you're wondering why I'm making breakfast while shooting this review, it's for two reasons. Number one, I'm starved. Number two, eggs is a reoccurring image in the movie and consumption is a reoccurring motif. Now there is a misconception on this channel that we hate all new horror movies. But that's just not true. We just see the flaws in them and poke at them really hard. But today we're going to put an end to that misconception because The Substance was a brilliant movie that I loved. Another misconception about The Substance is that it is just a straight up body horror movie. But it's a lot more than that. It is smart body horror with tons of comedy. It's more of a dark comedy than a horror movie. It's a dark horror comedy. The Substance is written and directed by Coralie Farget. It stars Demi Moore, Dennis Quaid, and Margaret Qualley. And I can honestly say that I think that The Substance is the best new movie I have seen in a very long time. So this episode is gonna be quick and dirty just like my breakfast, because it's gonna be less of a review and more of a plea for you to go see this movie while it's still in the theaters. A quick summary of the plot. I'm not gonna go too far because if I go too far, it's gonna wreck everything for you. So very quickly, former sex symbol and fitness star, Elizabeth Sparkle, is in the twilight of her career. She's getting older and she is let go from the show she has been hosting for years and years and years. She feels like she is no longer adequate and she is too old to do anything good anymore. She gets a mysterious USB stick, she pops it in, and it basically is like an advertisement for this weird program called The Substance. The Substance basically makes you your best self for seven days. It makes you younger for seven days, but then you have to revert back to your old self for another seven days. She takes this substance and all hell breaks loose. That's all I need to say. So why should you go see The Substance? Well, first of all, the cast and the cast of characters are fantastic. Demi Moore really is the perfect person to cast in this role because of her history. And she grew up as kind of a pop icon, a sex symbol. And people would get mad at her and criticize her for her plastic surgery and stuff like that, when really it's not that bad compared to most. So really, she is the perfect person to play this character. And she does it very, very well. It's probably her best role ever. It's the role she was born to play. Dennis Quaid is fantastic as like the network producer. You just love to hate him. He's such a asshole. And a lot of the humor stems from him as just being the most phony, fake, Rick that you love to hate. The first thing you'll notice in this movie is that it looks fantastic. It is one of the best looking, best shot new movies I've seen in a very long time. The color palette, the settings, everything is so good. Close-ups of people eating. It really makes you feel uneasy and it's humorous at the same time. The balance between the comedy and the horror is just mwah, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. The imagery in this movie and the use of symbolism is so good. It's something we don't see in newer movies so often and it's such a breath of fresh air. And you can see blatant nods to other filmmakers in this. There's definitely a Cronenberg influence, definitely a Kubrick influence. You can see The Shining all over this movie, but it's not shoved in your face, it's not blatant, it's pretty subdued, but it's just enough to give you a hint of the inspiration. The practical effects in this movie are outstanding, and they are mostly practical. There's a few visual effects done after the fact, but for the most part, it's all practical, and my god, it is so good. It is a perfect example of why practical is always going to be better than CGI, and this movie makes a statement with that, and makes that statement very, very well. The substance is everything you really want in a movie. It is funny, 
It's scary. It's sexy as hell. It's gory. It is visually a feast. And the sound design is fantastic. This is a movie you have to see in theaters just to get the experience of the actual sound design. People say that big blockbuster action movies are the movies you have to see in a movie theater. But no, this is the kind of movie you want to see in a movie theater because of the sound design and the visuals. Like, I think if I would have saw this movie in my living room on my shitty TV with my shitty sound system, I wouldn't have got the effect that I got in the theater. So yes, this is a see it in the theater movie. And we can't talk about the substance without talking about the message it's putting forward in this movie. The commentary. The commentary on vanity. The commentary on accepting your own mortality. Accepting getting older and realizing you can get old with style and can get old and still be sexy and still be desirable. This movie also has commentary on addiction and stupid blind faith. Stupid blind faith that something is just gonna make everything better for you and there will be no consequences. It's all about consequences and having balance. This movie says a lot. This movie is a perfect balance. The movie is about balance and it is a perfect balance. It's a perfect balance between being very heavy handed in its commentary and its message, but also being very heavy handed in the visual presentation. I saw some critiques in this movie saying it was too heavy handed with its message, but I don't think so because it's just as heavy handed with the way it looks. And that is a perfect balance. It's also a perfect balance between horror and comedy. Going into this movie, I had no clue it was gonna be as funny as it actually was. And it was hilarious in a good way, in a smart way, in an intentional way. Even the sound design in this movie was funny. The movie does really fuck with you, like, mentally, and it fucks with your senses, because there's some stuff in here that is just gross and gory. It does make your stomach kind of turn, like, you see this movie on an empty stomach, it's gonna hurt when you come out. But at the same time, it balances that with the humor, so it does really pull you in all these directions, but keeps you centered at the same time. It's like being drawn in quarter. I've heard some people say they thought the movie was a little long. It's two hours and 20 minutes, but for a movie packed with so much stuff, I don't think they could have got it done in less than two hours and 20 minutes. But it doesn't feel that long. It goes by pretty quick as the movie is just so damn entertaining. So in my opinion, this movie is the return of smart body horror. It's not gross just for the sake of being gross. It's gross with a statement. It is basically like David Cronenberg with a lot more humor. It's like a perfect mesh between David Cronenberg and Sam Raimi. Also has all the over-the-top slapstick style gore that Sam Raimi brought to us with the Evil Dead movies. But it doesn't come off looking old and cliche. Even though it bores a lot from previous directors, it really is something new and exciting. And it was a blast to watch in the theater. It really was a trip. It was an experience. And that's what a movie should be. It should be an experience. It should be a good experience. It should be a thought provoking. It should be something that sticks to you and that you take home with you and think about for days after you see the movie. And the substance does that. And that's why I think it is a fantastic movie. And that's why I encourage all of you horror fans horror comedy fans to go see this movie because I think you'll really dig it. It really is what a film should be. So the myth has been debunked. I don't hate all new horror movies. This one is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. So go see The Substance while it's still in theaters and get that big theater experience because you really do need it for this movie. Try to age gracefully. Love yourself. Find balance, like Mr. Miyagi says. This movie's all about balance, and it gets the balance perfect. If you will excuse me, it's time to go do dishes.